I want to share a success story that really proved myself that I can do it. A year ago, I was working my dream job, my nine to five as a graphic designer. I worked in advertising for seven years and then I left that to start my own business. I chased my passion as a motivational speaker and a coach teaching design, coaching entrepreneurs and business owners, speaking to college students and high school students and college prep programs. So the success story is that I made it. Not like famous or not like I made hundreds of dollars, but I made it surpassing my goal of what I thought I was going to make when I left my 95. You know, I was really scared that I was not going to make any money because truth be told, I didn't make any money for the first three months when I started my business. I was scared. I didn't know what was going to happen. I had no clients lined up. I didn't even make money for the first three months. I was using my emergency fund, my emergency fund. And then I was just hustling, working my butt off. And now the success story here is that uh, I did something amazing for my speaking business that I never imagined would have happened. When I first started speaking, it's very hard to get into the industry, especially to get people to listen to you. So my first few gigs, I was getting paid $200 to $900 and maybe not even $900. I'll probably get like $500 max. And I was doing it for about two or three years. It's really hard to make a living. But I was like, you know what? I want to chase my passion and I want to do this now. So I left with no lineups. And then four years later, you know what? I was thinking about giving up. But here's the thing that I live by. It's time to be brave. So eventually, an organization company said yes to me. I was able to close a $15,000 speaking deal. Woo! Man, I was happy. So happy because all my hard work finally paid off. Somebody said yes to my number. But here's the catch. That took me four to five years to get someone to say yes. So entrepreneurs and business owners, if you're new to your business, I hope you find this inspirational. Don't give up. Keep hustling. Someone will say yes to you. And how I got that 15K deal was not because I was prepared, but was it was because I was prepared to just do it and figure it out later. I was not 100% prepared, right? I like to say that, do it now and figure it out later. When I was getting that 15K deal, the director approached me and said, Bert, write me a proposal of why you are a great fit to be our speaker, to speak for our events and our students. All I said was yes. I could do that. I'll send you over a proposal. I got off the call. I called my sister. I Googled a YouTube because I have never written a proposal before. But I have spoken in front of hundreds of students. I have content. I have topics. My public speaking skills. I'm confident in it. The only thing that I've never done was writing a proposal. So I wrote it up. I sent it over. I really thought I was not going to get it. Three days later, the director came back and said, Bert, let's sign the contract. That is how I got my 15K deal. Was one, I didn't wait until I was 100% prepared. I was prepared maybe 30% because myself, my skill, I was prepared. But then I figured out later how to do the logistical business side of that. So for you, if you get an opportunity, do it now. Figure it out later. Don't wait until you're 100% prepared. Keep hustling. Keep your pitches. Keep your sales because we do got to wear those hats. Because eventually, I promise, someone will say yes to your number.